When you took your first project, you didn't expect it to be dominated by governance, process and controls. You didn't expect so much time spent on status reports, risk logs and plans. But don't let that define you. I know that's not who you are. You're not the pen pushers, the form fillers or the bureaucrats. You're the leaders, the communicators, the decision makers and most of all, you're the problem solvers. Every day you're finding solutions, dealing with scarce resources, stretching budgets, finding and fixing bugs, racing against the clock. You're the one the organizations turn to for solutions whenever they want to achieve the impossible. And yes, you struggle, you face resistance at every turn, you carry the burden home with you, you live and breathe the project like an obsession until it's done. And when it's over, you don't wait for plaudits, you don't wait for a pat on the back, and you expect no bonus because you're already thinking about the next project. And besides, you're too busy changing the world. Or didn't you notice that? Every small change and every mega project is making the world measurably better. Don't believe me? I never imagined when I started that my bit part, my small changes, would help so many people. I'm no banker, but I helped turn a bad bank into a good bank. I'm no doctor, but I improved a medical service with 5 million annual users. I'm no economist, but I helped to change the way we use money itself. So project managers, look again at your projects, current and historical. Look again at those benefits. Every efficiency is giving people their time back. Every saving is reducing a burden on customers. Every regulatory change is saving jobs. Every enhancement is a better outcome for people. Every change you have made has improved the world. So don't get down when some supposed leader tells you to just f***ing do it, because you've been doing it for years. You are driving the changes that will reshape the world. Don't you dare think less of yourself than that. Whilst the politicians are selling hope and fear, whilst the CEOs are promising profits and growth, and the challenges of disease, conflict and the climate urgently need answers, our leaders all know they need to turn their pledges, manifestos and mission statements into real-world solutions. And they'll need you and your skills to build the world of the future. And whilst the big changes are delivered, the world needs to keep turning. The customers, the users, the patients, the partners need the small changes, the little innovations that will get them home, improve their jobs, keep them safe and make their lives a little bit nicer. So yeah, keep learning, keep working, keep changing the world 